In this week's episode, what we want to show you is a replacement of our washdown pump. Now, we have a JASCO uh, washdown pump already installed in my boat, but what we want to do is go to this bigger, badder model. And this, this is like the, the monster of the washdown pumps this, for a boat my size. This is the one that's going to get it done. Yeah, that's, it's a really nice model. It's way bigger. People at JASCO have been telling me about this model for over a year, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and install it. And what Greg and I want to show you today, this is Greg from Marina Oil Services. He helps us a lot here on the TV show. Is in next week's episode, we're going to actually install it. But today, I just want to give you a real quick uh, look down below the deck on where this is going to go. And right here, you can see the existing washdown pump. And it already has its own through hole. And that's bonded wires going to it, so we don't have to worry about that corroding. And we're going to connect this pump, the new pump, right here to this hose. And then it's going to take that water from the ocean and pump it right to our hose that we can wash down on the deck. Now, the other through holes that we have here are two rule pumps. And these are for our bait tanks. This forward one is for our main bait tank in the middle, middle of the boat. And this one is for the bag pumps, the bag uh, bait tank that we have in the back of the boat. And the reason we have two separate bait tanks like that is if we have anchovies in here for chumming or for, or for fishing with, and we happen to have some live squid, we want to separate those because the squid will eat those yeah, anchovies. All the anchovies, yeah. And sometimes when we're running over to the island, we might have anchovies or squid in this tank, and we'll take some mackerel, we'll throw it in the bag, and we have a separate pump for that just in case we see some marlin or a mako shark or something we might want to stop and fish for. So it's nice having that option. And another good point about having this system where we have one through hole with two pumps on it is that if for some reason we lose one of these pumps, we can just switch them. So if I lose my main pump here for my big bait tank, I can just switch that, the pump on the back of the unit and put it, plug it into this one and I'm good to go. So that way we have two tanks going all the time. Right. And on my bilge pump there is also a rule pump. So we're pretty well fitted with all Jabsco and rule pumps, bilge pumps, bait pumps, and wash down pumps on this boat. Well, in next week's episode, Greg and I will be actually installing it. We'll put that big pump right down here. We have some wiring to do. We got some new wires that we have to install for power because this pump's going to take a lot more power than what we have right yeah, now. It, it, it takes a lot more. We'll have to run wires directly from the battery, and it's got battery terminals right on it just, mm -hmm. for, just for the motor. Right. So we'll, it will do that in order to get the full benefit the full power of the, of the and we motor. even have a little breaker switch we got yeah they, it comes with a 35 amp breaker switch which we will put in line which is a safety feature mm -hmm. and they include it with this pump so that's a jab school thought of everything on this one yeah that'd be great and once we have that installed we are going to have so much power and pressure of water to wash down the boat it's going to make it really easy when we come back from fishing wash the boat up really good and by the time we get to the dock we'll be all ready to go just maybe rinse it with some fresh water and go home yeah all right well next week's episode We'll be back here, back on my boat, the Misuena 3. Greg will be here helping me, and we'll be doing the install. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.